Are you riding today? No, I'm not. Why are you not riding today? Taking a break, focusing on taking some photos. Just reached Ben McDewey, the highest point in Eastern Cape. I think day three in, the real world feels pretty far behind now. I've forgotten about all like real shit. Difficult to remember a time outside motorbiking. Today is the morning of day four, yes? It's Monday morning and it's amazing. We're still in roads, we slept here for two nights and it's pretty idyllic and especially this morning is just the best. But this road trip is a little bit like dating. You can't just settle on your third day or you can't settle on the first girl that, that you like. There might be some better ones, you're not sure, but you've got to try at least. We're gonna try, aim for a swim at Hole in the Wall and then make it to Coffee Bay before sunset. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Oh, you got nice eyes. Actually we just stopped because to check how far we are from the nearest town because we Uno and I just went into reserve tank which means we have 60 k's and we're about 10 k's over that now but when we stopped we saw that Uno's tire is a bit flat I can't see what's wrong but it is definitely going flat Chris also drove into me just now and he managed to break my panniers It's easy to ride on this sand Well it's not the end of the world It wasn't me I was going to take quick We've got this stuff, 4x4 tire jack and inflator and sealer, it's new, and we're going to try this. It doesn't say bikes, <laughs> <laughs> which might be a problem, but <laughs> we'll see. Practical, fast, safe, how can you go wrong? Where are we now? Yes. Yes. Yeah, how far are we from the sea now? No, very, very far. Very far. Very far. Very far. Really? Yeah, not that far. No. Very, very, very not that far, but not that far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got you. Hi. Hi, Hi, I don't have to. Hi, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've now entered officially into the wild coast, which is pretty wild. For all of the people we didn't see in the mountains, there's just people everywhere here and dogs and things and something you must realize is no matter how much you think you know what a goat's thinking, you never know what a goat thinks and it will change his mind right at the end. I think they are more scared of my motorbike. Yeah, it's louder. Like yours, they hear coming. Yeah. Because they don't hear coming and they go, Whoo. <laughs> I think they do that with mine too. Goats. bigger and more grand than I remember. The coast and the like rocks and cliffs, incredible. It's like quite like awe-inspiring. I think we also came at a really amazing time because we did it as the sun was setting. Beautiful sunset that you like drop into. And it's always amazing when you get to a place in the dark and you don't really know what it looks like. And the next morning when you wake up early, you just say like, walk out to the beach. You could really feel the change in temperature, the change in, in the environment as we went from almost 3,000 meters down to sea level basically. It started super high and then we kind of hit the plateau there in Kunu 
and then uh, drop further down into the, the trans sky where we are at the moment. <laughs> so first sea view? I've never been here before. No. It's the second time this year that I've been here. And it's not enough. <laughs> Pretty epic. Day four and we see the sea. Now walk! 